think being a trailblazer is like being a pioneer, being an innovator, doing something that someone else hasn't done before, especially being a woman. I think my mother was a trailblazer because she was an unwed mother, but yet and still she just knew the values of life. I was raised to, to really enjoy life and to know good values, and she instilled those in me that I try to instill in my children. First women trailblazer was my mom because she only had an eighth grade education. She came from Samoa, and she was really timid, and my dad was in the service, so there were times when he had to be off overseas for like six months at a time and then she had to take care of us. Some right here in Independence that I look up to that were great women was Emily Fisher, who was the first entrepreneur, so to speak, in the late 1800s that owned a hotel right here on the square. There was another lady that attended my church, uh, Mrs. Harton's pal. I believe she had a dress shop up on the square. I think it's important to celebrate women's history because for a long time we were considered second-class citizen and being a minority that I am that makes it even worse. I wrote this in 2001 and uh, just an excerpt of uh, a woman's role. I'm a wife, a sweetheart, and a lover, a friend, a child, a mother. I'm a housekeeper, laundress, and cook, a doctor, a lawyer, and author of a book. I preach, I teach, I fine tune my speech. I'm an athlete in the sports arena out there. And I'm an anthropologist, an archeologist, an analyst, or an artist extraordinaire. In corporate America, I'm there. In healthcare, I'm there. In the military, in government, on stage, screen, law enforcement, and someday soon, even president. In all walks of life, I am there.